Top 10 key tips for writing a resume with no experience at all. The key to writing a resume when you have no or little work experience is to concentrate on what you have achieved and worked on in your life up to this point, whether through education, internships, projects, or whatever that you have done as full time or part time in your spare time. So here are 10 key tips on creating your resume. The first one is use a resume objective. A resume objective is a statement usually at the beginning of your resume, which explains what type of position you are interested in and how you can apply your skills and qualifications to that position. For instance, a self-motivating recent graduate in finance and economics looking for an entry level position within the banking industry to utilize my financial knowledge, communication skills and management understanding. That's a great career objective statement. Your resume objective is not a fixed statement. Ideally, it should be altered to fit each role that you apply for. So for every next job that you are applying for, your career objective statement should also change. For instance, you apply for two roles within the same organization. One role relies on your ability to research and analyze. The second requires that you communicate with clients and negotiate deals. Your resume objective should be altered to focus on the specific skills that each role demands. The purpose of the resume objective is to show that your skills are a good fit for the position and that your attitude is good fit for the organization. The second point could be choose which experiences to include. This is another opportunity to show that you are the ideal candidate for the job. Just as you alter your resume objective to match what is needed for each role you apply for, you should also choose which experiences to include in your resume. For instance, you apply for a marketing role on your resume, you could outline how you help to design flyers, posters and social media posts for a candidate in the student election at your college or university. Working on your school newspaper would be an appropriate experience to include in your resume if you apply for a role as a journalist or a copywriter. You apply for an accountancy position on your resume, you could outline the experience you gain working as the treasurer for the school chess club. Include experiences that are relevant to each job application. Number three would be highlight your skills. Relevant employment history is not necessarily what will make you stand out from the crowd of applicants. What most employers are looking for are relevant skills. For instance, leadership, negotiation or working as part of a team. Start by looking at the information you already have about the vacancy. This will be from the job advertisement or the job description that you come across itself and any further information that was forwarded to you when you expressed interest in that particular position. What skills are to be mentioned? They could include analyzing data, copywriting, communication, customer service, management, accountancy, sales, being able to drive and holding a current license, design skills, computer programming, touch typing, fundraising, a foreign language, anything of those that matches yours. The next step is to think back over your experiences, hobbies and education to find examples of the skills needed for the vacancy. But remember, every skill that you mention as bullet point should be exemplified. For instance, for a position that requires sales, communication and negotiation skills, you would mention the stall you ran at the school or college fair to raise money for your favorite charity and how you approach your local supermarket to donate goods for free. Number four, list work experience, volunteering and internships. You may not have work experience specific to the role you are applying for, but past work experience, volunteering and internships are worth listening on your resume if they are relevant. For instance, your work experience as an activity leader at a summer camp displays communication and leadership skills. When you volunteer during high school as an earth team volunteer, you learn how to work in a team and how to communicate with people from other walks of life. Your internship 
may not have been to carry out the specific role you are applying for but if it was in the same industry for example finance or politics you already have relevant knowledge of the arena you wish to work in if any of your work volunteering or internship experience are relevant to the vacancy include them in your resume number 5 what about your hobbies listing your hobbies on your resume can show your interest in and knowledge of industry and topics that are relevant to the vacancy flag up relevant skills show off your personality and help you to stand out from other applicants for example your time spent acting on the amateur stage not only shows that you have an outgoing personality and can work in a team the fact that you helped to write the copy for publicity material shows that you have copywriting and marketing skills too your hobby as an athlete shows that you are competitive and willing to push yourself to achieve the desired result this is the one area where the fact that the hobby is not relevant to the vacancy does not matter this is about setting yourself apart from the competition and being memorable number 6 customize for each job application it should be clear by now that one of the key ways to produce a successful resume is to customize it for each job application taking a one size fits all approach may produce a possible resume but it will not set you apart examine the requirements of the vacancy for example qualification skills and in some cases suitable qualities such as self motivation and the culture of the company does the management hierarchy suggest an organization with a traditional structure and career path of working your way up through the ranks is the company forward thinking innovative and open to taking suggestion from the employees tailor your resume to be the best possible fit for all of these factors for each application number 7 consider resume keywords most recruitment processes whether handled by the employers hr department or recruitment agency will use an applicant tracking system the ats will decide which job applications to process on to the next stage by scanning each resume for suitable keywords it is important therefore that your resume includes keywords that are relevant to the job you are applying for go back to the job advertisement or job description and requirements what skills are listed that you could mention word for word in your resume for example the keyword for a copywriter vacancy might include content creation copywriting social media email marketing web copy advertising the use of keywords in your resume will generally apply to skills but if you have the qualification listed in the job description treat those as keywords too make it easier to stand out as a suitable candidate to the ats by including the right keywords for that particular vacancy number 8 remember to proofread now you have all that information collated make sure there are no spelling or grammatical errors and that the text reads well take time to check your skills experience and keywords against the job description and requirements finally check to make sure there are no silly typos or mistakes number 9 keep it to one page at this stage we are talking about resume so when you have a little to zero work experience your resume should be no longer than one page having said that do make sure that your resume fills a whole page if you have to bulk out the text with spacing or a few additional words here and there do so a recruiter really wants to read all the way through an unnecessarily long resume but equally a half page resume will suggest a lack of effort on the applicant's part number 10 utilize your cover letter so your resume is as polished tailored and full of keywords as possible increase your chances of success by crafting a well written relevant cover letter to accompany it This is your chance to further impress by highlighting areas of your resume that are specially relevant to the vacancy, explaining why you are a best fit for the company, expressing your knowledge of the company and the industry. Keep the tone professional and positive and address your cover letter to the relevant manager by name. And what should not be included in your resume being a fresher? Now that you know that what to be included in your resume, here is what which you should avoid important is 
age do not include include your age or date of birth in your resume this will avoid any preconceptions or bias on the part of the recruiter photo however professional you think it may look do not include any casual photograph in case if you are attaching do it with a professional one references at this point of time when you are applying for a job it is not necessary to provide references if you wish you may add references available on the request line if your application progresses you will be asked to give to give references at some point at some stage in appropriate email addresses unless you have a website your personal email address will probably be a gmail hotmail or an outlook account where it may have been fun to have an email address such as bobby loves cheese at hotmail.com please avoid it looks shabby it's out of fashion and it looks too kiddish when you are simply sending emails to your friends this is not suitable for a job application at all make sure that your email address is professional inaccuracies while it may be tempting to exaggerate your accomplishments try to be as truthful as possible when writing your resume equally do not add fictitious experiences or qualifications examples of no experience resume this is one important aspect of the entire topic that we are giving you one template this example is relevant to a charity sector marketing role so please find one good template coming your way for freshers job applicants who are absolutely new and they do not have any experience i think for them this template will serve a lot of food for thought so take an help of this final thoughts crafting a successful resume when you have no work experience is far from impossible if you match your skills life experience and personality to the job you are applying for and to your potential employer you will be sure to stand out from the competition and what you need to do is just make a conscious effort best wishes thank you